Hi guys, another paper aeroplane and another version of this hoop style or ring style or tube style. Uh, I did a couple uh, a few days back, probably a week or so back now, and then I spotted this one on one of the uh, sites. They call it a Viper Ring. Uh, it's the paperhanger.com site. And I've drawn it on that bit of paper there to remind me how to do it. What I found interesting, obviously I've already done one, is the previous versions seem to like to fly that way up. This one seems to want to fly the other way up. In fact, if I launch it that way up it just dives, whereas that way it seems to fly. So I'll just see if I can fold it up. This is the clue, about half an inch up on that side and half an inch down on that side. And that's the fold line. If I can get it on there. And you can see straight away what it does, it gives us the two tails. And then on this one they just turn off about a quarter of an inch at a time and fold it over four times I think it is. Let's try and keep that even. So that's one. Two, three, four, and then Doing that a few times, it starts taking on the curved shape. Done it a few times. And come round and fold it into itself. And it will hold itself, but I must admit I did cheat and put a little bit of glue on there to make sure it actually stayed in place. Because every time I threw it without it, it just springs back open. On the previous one you had a wider fold and that seemed to grip a bit better. But this one, this design, it just says quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch four times. So I'm going to stick a little bit of glue on that again. I'll, well actually, no I won't fly it now, I'll fly it tomorrow morning. It's quarter to one, so actually it'll be this morning, won't it? Later on today I'll give it a fly, because it's a bit late at night to be doing this. don't want to wake my wife up. As I say, it definitely flies better that way up. And that actually made it quite handy, because you can grip it quite easily there and throw it that way. Whereas that way, on the other one, I was holding it at the back and just letting it drop and it would pick up eventually. But this one seems to fly that way up. Good morning guys. So we've got two to try. I've just checked the previous videos of the other versions and I'm right, they all flew that way up with the tail at the bottom and these definitely seem to fly better with the tail at, at the top so we'll see if we can get anywhere near the camera
to move the camera a bit. So we avoid Nanny's anti-drone decorations. There's definitely a knack in throwing these to get it right. <laughs> well, we hit the camera. I'll have a couple more goes, but that's probably as good as we're going to get. Um, definitely a knack in getting them right. I was trying to throw them like that, and I just couldn't get it right. I'm currently distorting them slightly, so they're sort of an oval shape. And they seem to fly a bit more reliably. Not that you'd notice. Oh. That one was a lot closer. Finally, hit the camera. What I was really hoping for was that, but we didn't get it. And we spent 20 minutes trying to do that. So that'll do for now. It flies. Um, that way of launching seems to be more accurate. That way of launching, you're distorting it as you're holding it. And that way of launching, it just dives. So it's completely different characteristics to the other version. Check the video description. There'll be links in there to the file for this, uh, the folding file on whatever it was, paperhanger or something, dot com and there'll be links to my other paper hour things and other stuff. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. 
You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.